Welcome back fellow techies to our latest tutorial video. I am the Technician Project. Today's tutorial we're going to show you how to do a general mix in Logic Pro X. It follows on from our previous video on how to do a vocal mix in Logic Pro X. So where we left off we've done our vocals and now we're ready to do our complete general mix. We have our arrange window open and our mix window open. And we're just going to work our way through the mix. Let's play the track first. Whilst we're playing the track, we can hear that there's some loudness going on, some peaking. So we're just going to edit the faders across the tracks and try and work out where that peaking is coming from and bring in certain instruments. So all I'm doing is editing the kick drum, trying to increase the kick because I feel I can't hear it enough in the mix. Also feel that the vocals were a little bit loud, so we're going to try and turn those down. increase the distortion a little bit. Too much. Let's bring that back down. As you can see the general, the overall mix is peaking quite a bit so we're going to try and adjust some of the faders. Never turn the faders up, always try and turn the faders down. So we're going to adjust all the faders as we, accordingly. I'm still struggling to hear the kick drum if I'm honest, so I'm going to just turn the effects off the drum mix in a bit. Just going to go through the mix and turn the toms down. Any instruments I see that peaking. So at this point, I've gone back to bar, just after bar 82, just to listen back to this section. Because I'm unsure if I can hear the snare drum coming through. So I'm just going to do a quick automation on the snare drum and just turn it up a little bit in a certain section. Because to me, that should be allowed a bit. So we're just going to do a quick automation, draw some nodes in, and automate down to bring the level back down. And because we've got it on read, the automation will get read. So we're going to do the same on the bottom one. So we've got a snare top and a snare bottom. We're just on this one. Okay, so that should improve the snare drum. That's better. 
Yeah, you can really hear the snare drum now in that part. Odds uh, drum sounds at the end there where the recording continues. So what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight them all and we're going to remove them all. So make sure we click in our arrange window. That's it. And then select all, which is Command A. And we're just going to go to our scissor tool, which is this one here. And then Command and click, and that will finish the track up nicely. There we go. Nice finish. Nice end there. So all I'm doing during the mix is finalizing a few details with panning, finalizing a few details with the faders, just making sure nothing's peaking really. Uh, it's all you can do during a mix now is just listen back several times through speakers, headphones, louder, quieter, uh, a lot of reference points. So again, we're just listening back uh, you probably listen back to your mix probably 10 times uh, just to get the best outcome. I would export it, put it on CD, stick it in my car. Um, I would give it to a friend to listen to. Um, get more opinions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. And also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates. Thanks again. Goodbye.